In today's video, I'm taking it back to the roots of my channel with some Trash to Treasure home decor DIYs. This is Junker Nicker DIY, and my name is Leah. Here you'll see Pinterest projects, thrift flips, Trash to Treasure crafting, Dollar Tree DIYs, and shopping hauls. If that interests you, please subscribe. Julia from the channel Crafting with Julia has put together a monthly open playlist where we are going to be doing trash to treasure crafting and it's called Don't Argue the Toss. This first one, I'm going to be using some of these gallon size wine jugs and what I want to do is mimic the Jimmy John jugs. If you're not familiar with a Jimmy John, Jimmy John jug, Here's a sample of one that I saw on eBay, and they're very expensive. This one is marked $129. Now, already this resembles a Demijohn jug, but I'm just going to decorate it up a bit by adding some twine around the top, mainly just on the threads where the cap would go. I'm wrapping it around and round and round. And then I'm going to tie that off, and I'm going to leave a little bit of that twine hanging down. I kind of like that little um, rustic kind of feel, if you will. Now I'm going to add some picks from Dollar Tree, these cotton bowl stems. I added three of those, and then this is something I picked up at Dollar General for $0.25 cents on Christmas clearance. I'm really not sure what it is. It just has a kind of a wintry, snowy look to it. And that's all there was to that. $129 versus free to me. And now on to that second jug. The more popular Demi John jugs have either a light green or light blue tint to the glass color. And I want to mimic that. And I'll try the green. I heated up that label so it would come off easier. It kind of heats up the adhesive and makes it turn loose. So you don't have so much of the stuff to scrape off afterwards. Now I've rubbed it down with a clean cloth with some alcohol. And since I don't have a good light green, I'm mixing Key West, which I just had a little bit in that bottle, with a touch of Holly Branch. And that's going to give me a light green color. I added a generous amount of Mod Podge. I'd say it was probably a good third of a bottle. Maybe even half of a bottle. And this is going to be take one. Because it didn't turn out like I expected it to to begin with. So I did it over. But anyway, here's that nice green color that I came up with. Mix all that all together. Pick out those paint boogers, and I started brush painting the outside of the bottle. Now, in my mind, with that much Mod Podge, this should dry translucent. However, it did not dry translucent. It was more opaque. Hmm, is that a word for you can't see through it? Whatever. Anyway, all this is going to be going away because once it started drying, it looks like this. That's not the look that I was going for, even though that's kind of cute. I'm going to redo this. What I did was took the remainder of the paint and Mod Podge I had mixed up, poured it inside the bottle, and I'm going to clean all of that on the outside. I set it over into a pan and just poured a cup of warm water over it and scrubbed it right off. I love these little scrubbers. You get three for a dollar at Dollar Tree and they are a necessity. When you mess up as much as I do, that is. So the paint and Mod Podge mixture is inside the jug now, and I'm just going to swirl it around till I have everything coated on the inside. Then I'll turn it upside down and let the excess drain out. How is that going to make a difference? Well, for one, 
the glass on the outside is going to make it look as though the glass itself is tinted. And B, I won't have brush strokes. Here it is all dry and I'm quite happy with the result. Now there's some places where there's some paint boogies here and there that I didn't get out, but overall I'm happy. This one is so super easy peasy. I had this pork rinds plastic container that I was about to throw in the recycle bin and I thought, hmm, I can do something without that, with that, <laughs> before I recycle it. So what I'm going to do is cut a strip of contact paper to put right down the middle. And I'm not worried about trying to get the entire label off because if needed, I can turn that part to the back. No one will ever see it but me. And what I'm doing here is just cutting where I want to put the paper in that flat spot between the ridges on the top and bottom. Does that make sense? You'll see what I mean. I'm just cutting this down the side to get the size I wanted. Boy, I'm telling you, I had a struggle with this paper. It kept wanting to roll up on me and it just... I don't know if I just had an off day or if it was being cantankerous. Anyway, I cut a piece big enough to wrap all the way around, and then I started sticking it down. And this is going to make me a tabletop trash holder for all those pieces of paper, tags I pull off of stuff, and so on and so forth. And there you go. Here's a look at all the projects that I did today from Trash to Treasure. Thank you so much for watching and please be sure to check out the playlist and Crafting with Julia's channel. I've left links for you below in the descriptions. Until next time, bye-bye.